There's more to Max Maps than just the free mapping aspect. If we go again to Max Maps in the Visual Tools drop down menu, we see the code or the, the maps that we have already created. We can also go to the Map drop down menu and choose New Model. And the first model is called the One Case Model. So if we click on that, Max Maps will tell us that we need to drag a document onto the screen. So if we're interested in modeling what's going on in the document John, we just drag him onto the screen. And now we have uh, several options. One is whether or not we want to display memos that are linked or connected to John in some way. Uh, we can also limit what codes are going to be uh, shown. For example, if we only wanted to bring in interview guide topics, uh, we could activate just those and say to display only those that are activated. It also limits the quantity, the total number of codes that will be brought in. And you can set then whether or not to display coded segments, segments, instances of each of these codes, and set the maximum quantity. Uh, you can also prioritize either by the weight that you've assigned to a coded segment or by segment size. Basically, if we're showing five coded segments for each of the codes, there may be 10 instances of that code. There could be 10 coded segments. And how does it choose those five? And in this case, I'm going to choose uh, pick those five that are longest. So then when we click OK, Max Maps will create a map for us visualizing what's going on in that document. So I'll make it a little bit smaller so you can see the whole thing. And then we'll zoom in a little bit uh, for clarity. OK, so this is the one case model. You have John the document in the middle, and it's connected to up to 10 codes that are present in this particular document. So we can see that the code relationships was there in uh, this document, John. Partner, emotions, etc. And you can uh, see how often these, uh, each of these codes appears in this document based on the thickness of the line. So you can see that the code relationships has a much thicker line than health. Then attached to each of these codes is up to five instances of these codes. So five coded segments, uh, if there were that many. So we see with relationships, there are four coded segments viewed, which means uh, apparently there weren't five, there were only four. And now I can hover over each one and see what it was that I coded as having to do with relationships in that particular document. So basically, we're showing you a lot of what's going on in that document in a single model. And it's great for presenting or digging into what's going on in that particular document. Uh, it helps you visualize what's going on in that document and have that direct connection to the data. If you're not able to see these, uh, these instances of the code, it's probably because you don't have the sync mode on. So make sure this white uh, square with the two arrows has the orange around it. If not, click on it and you'll be in sync mode. Now you can think of this one case model and all of the models as starting points. So if I want to, I can go into selection mode, move anything around. Uh, maybe there are instances of this that I'm not interested in, so I want to delete them. So significantly positive. Uh, let's just pretend I wasn't interested in that. I can click on it and choose Delete. And that object is very simply deleted. Uh, so you can go through, bring in other objects, bring in memos, bring in pictures, create links. This model is just a starting point that MaxQDA creates for you. So the one case model is focused on a single case, in this case a document, uh, and what is going on in that particular document. Thank you.